So now we are doing dictionary. Then the last one is brute. Let's go. We got two left. It has been, let me see. I started at nine. It is now 2300. So it has been 14 hours. Uh, a little bit under 14 hours. Sorry, like 930. So 14 hours and we have done, I think it's going to be a total of 17. We'll end up doing whenever we're done with this. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. Exit tech Y. Exit out of here. Exit. Exit out of there. Clear that guy out. Exit and exit. And let's go ahead and see the back back and we will make a directory for dictionary. See there, I probably spelled dictionary wrong, didn't I? Most likely. Let's go ahead and map. That guy like right there. All right. Uh, SMB client on three dot four, and let's also try for an SMB map or um, excuse me, uh, scripts for SMB. Ooh, really? Don't think we're gonna get anywhere with that guy, like right there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just start our Kerberos neck right now, because we know that it's a domain controller. 3.4, and this guy is called Dictionary. So we might as well start that up. Because that's the new hotness on this thing. Ooh, for OSCP? Those 10 points can mean a lot. We got administrator so far. Got administrator again. All right, we are crushing it with administrator so far. Don't try to tell us that we can't find somebody. Good luck on that. Let us know how you do. When do you take the test, Lone Johnny? I don't think this box fully started up yet. So, whoopsie daisy. No, that's fine up there. Let's go ahead and do that again. See how these boxes fully started up. No schedule yet? Oh, okay. How much lab time you got left? Or how much lab time did you get? I'll see about doing the 30 days. All right, let's let this guy keep running. These things do take a minute to start, don't they? Like, Kerberos is on here, right? Okay, it is open. He's just having a rough time. Oh, you bought the long access? Okay. Take the Wi Fi test yet? I'll have to get you a ladder for. I'm sitting here asking all these questions. You're trying to do your lab report for your tax extra points. I'm sitting here. October? Well, definitely let me know how it goes. If I don't immediately say anything back, I'm not in Okinawa. I don't have any internet. Maybe we only have an administrator. Maybe this isn't the way. It's been the way for everything else so far. Maybe I don't know the way. Maybe we need more threads. Whenever you don't know what to do, add another zero onto your threads, okay? We're gonna do a thousand threads. Whenever you don't know what else to do, just add another zero. After this, we're going to do 10,000. I don't know if we can even do 10,000, but by God, we're going to go for it. Oh 
I think she was on last night, wasn't she? Alan Work? Alan Rack, wasn't she on last night? Thought I heard something about her being on. Then I went to sleep, because it's literally like 1am or something like that when they're on. Alright, so we have this again. This weird stuff again. So, let's go ahead and do a get MP users again. And we're going to do that for dictionary. And we're going to do it for Isabel. Because we know that she exists. Dot four. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's also start making up a users pass dot or username dot text. Do a nano users dot username dot text. Hey, thanks a lot for the file swirlzle. Do administrator. And Isabel. We do get a hash for her. Let's go ahead and do a nano hash.txt. Throw that in there. John hash.txt. With a word list of rocky.txt and fork equals four. Use up my CPU. I don't care. My name is Layla. Do do do. Got me on my knees, Layla. I don't know if you know that song or not. If you don't, then it's just weird now. Now it's just weird. June 2013. Let's try to even win our I mean, Is that person? Because we are in a medium box, I'd say, now or never. That's what we kind of said. That was medium, right? So we'll do a dot four. And we'll do that Isabel person. And that's going to be for the password of June 2013. May need to just do an SMB client with her and figure out what's going on with there. Let's go ahead and also echo her stuff into, let's go ahead and echo Isabel June 2013 into a user pass.txt. Let's also do a RPC client for her. And we'll do June 2013. And let's also check up on... Um... Okay, cool. You do know it. Thank God. Inu Dom users. Because it would have been super weird if you didn't. If I was just starting to sing it. Um, okay, so we have a somebody else in there. So let's go ahead and echo that into users.txt. All right, we got Isabella and that backup Isabel. Let's go ahead and also grab that one like right there. We'll throw that in there, although that shouldn't be anything for us, but we'll try it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, enum or what is it again? I think I'd figure it out by now. Query user for Slovenia. Silvesia, C. Valesia. See if she's got anything in here. She does not. Okay, let's try the backup one. And let's go ahead and see if she has any. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's try SMB client. And we had Isabel, right? Gonna be June 2013 is the password or dot four I mean there we go put the right IP address works a lot better June 2013 all right nothing in there let's do a secrets dump maybe and sh this is for dictionary and it's gonna be this is probably gonna be some type of brute force huh Dot four, we try that like right there. See if we get anything. And let's go ahead and try to brute force.
that one person, her, we'll do user share word list rocky.txt with threads of 100. We'll try something like that. Okay, I'll do that. Tag T100 is not a recognized argument. But it says like right there, tag T is threads. I just don't think he likes tag T. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I should actually put it at the correct place first. Maybe if I actually attack the correct thing, then it will try to do 100 threads. Nope. Why would it? It says like literally right here, tag T threads. Okay. Maybe I'm out of my mind. I understand. I've been told that before, so I've heard that plenty of times. All right. So, we cracked her stuff, we did her RPC, we have a backup file for her, right? I wonder if the backup one has more permissions than the regular one. There is something that says June in it, like right here. We got a backup person, right? I don't know if this is going to work or not. I have no freaking clue. Um... It does not like that tech T100, does it? We're going to be here for a minute. Um, we're really going to be here for a minute if it doesn't work. Okay. Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Um, we got the backup one. Real often they have to rotate their passwords. Grab that guy for insets to be okay. Let's go ahead and do that then. Whoopsie daisy, wrong one. I wonder if we should even be doing June. I wonder if we should like make like a date thing. You know? I wonder if we should do something like that. Because it's... I wonder... Oh yeah, that is true. Huh? I already grabbed all the June stuff, huh? I wonder if we should even do that. I wonder if we should just make a whole bunch of dates for it or something. That's going to take fucking forever. And that's even if it's even this user. It could be this user. And that's even if we even have the right passwords. It could be like spring. Or some dumb shit like that. Where do we go from here? 
Do we try like that? Do we just go at it? Do we try all different months? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try to see if we can make a um, Python script for making for dates. Or let's try like a bash script or some of that. Bash script for dates. For adding dates. Hey, these love for follow flying flying X. Let's think. What about threads after SMB? Think so? Like tag T one hundred like that? Try like that. Maybe it doesn't like it at the end there. No, it just doesn't like threads. It just it doesn't know what the hell its own arguments are. That's all. I don't know if that's going to be the freaking thing. I think we got to do all the months or whatever. We should just start off with January also. Let's go ahead and just start off with January. And it keeps, it's going to keep failing too because it's too much shit going at it. Oh God. Um, how the hell do I keep adding dates? I want to make a bash script where it's just going to like run like two, 2000 January, 2000 February, 2000 March, 2000 April, 2000 May. It just keeps going like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to go through all the, I guess... Months because last one was June, right? So now I want all the ones that are in January, April, May, yeah, but going from like 2000 all the way up to like 2020. Like a bash script or something like that. I could have swore I've made something like this before. We're going to be here forever. We're going to have to fucking actually brute force this thing. And it keeps failing. We're going to be here for fucking ever. Now is the time you look up a password. Now you know what the time is now? You know what you do now? I'm not brute forcing this thing. I'm too tired. I'm not doing it. I'm not brute forcing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So. We're going to see if this guy's vulnerable. 
Not doing it today. He's not even vulnerable. Oh, nope, it's not that THM. We're good. He is vulnerable. Not waiting out brute force today. <laughs> um. Oh, what the fuck is it? Could have swore that was something. We can do a. No, I think I just figured it out. E Rex. Um, then we could do. We can make it so it runs. Let's see here. We had June 2013, right? So we can do a. Do like an. Pipe? I think it's a pipe. Okay, let's go. That's not how I wanted it. That's not how I wanted it at all. Wanted it one line. Oh man, that's shitty. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're getting there. Um, I don't know why. Got the pipe then.
Let's go. Now we just need numbers. I think. <laughs> okay, now we just need numbers. So how about we go do that? Um, we want to now have numbers. And we want to put them... Two thousand, right? So we're gonna do two thousand. What was hers? Two thousand thirteen. So two thousand twelve and up. Right, hers was June two thousand thirteen. So we'll do two thousand twelve, going up. Right, that's what it should do. Or maybe it's only going up to two thousand twelve like right now. We might want to have it go up to like two thousand fifteen then. Let's try like this first, and we'll see. Yeah, okay, so they went up. So from 2010, it went up. That's weird. All right, let's try that like right there. I don't know who to even go after. I'm thinking the backup file. Worked out great for us. What happened? All right, there we go. That worked out good. Okay, good. It's working out great so far. That is the IP address, right? 3.4, yeah. So what the hell is going on here? Maybe we're not supposed to be attacking her. Maybe it's actually is going to be her. Let's keep timing out too. First part is I have no idea if that's correct or not. We're just hoping because the other person was June 2013 that this person is going to be something like that. I know where 2013 went in January. It just skipped it. I mean, it's 100% there. We go up to January. There's Alright, I'm done working on a broken ass box. Done playing that game. CD and in packet. Does the job? Yeah, but it's. It just keeps, the box keeps like failing, like the SMB keeps failing out. So it's kind of like, okay, cool. I'm sure it worked great when it was brand new.
Here, we'll brute force it, all right. The thing is called dictionary. We'll do a brute force on it. I promise we'll do a brute force on it. Might not be the way that they want us to, but by God, we're going to do something to it. We might need a fucking password. Oh, we do have a password, don't we? We have one person, don't we? Yeah, we got Isabel. Okay, never mind. got Isabel in there. Let's go ahead and do um, dictionary.csl. It's Isabel. And it's going to be June 2013. C CSL? Yeah. 10, 10, 0 0.16, Sudo Nano Etsy Host, this is going to be for CV even in there? Yeah, not even in there. Um, That's it, right? Yep. Shit. What? Connection failed to wear. She probably can't log in. Yeah, I don't plan on... We'll do this one another day. In all honesty, I, mean, I don't plan on fucking sitting here all night watching a fucking um. Watching a um. Pass that text go at it. Hey, look at that. It's actually working a little better. Hopefully, this is actually the word list, like right here. I'm also scared that we don't have the right name. And I'm also scared that we don't have the right password what I'm really scared of is that I started I think we're starting it too early I 
That's only going up to 2009, like right there. I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I have no clue. Hey, thanks a lot for follow arrow seven 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 eight. I have no clue. The backup one I won't even try to do. This is trying the backup one now. You just copy and paste it. Should be able to. I mean, we got a script. It's running. I just don't know what year to start at. If it's even going to be a year. If there's exclamation points. If it's even going to be a month. Shit, for all we know, the password could be shit for brains. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a box on CyberSec Labs. Not advanced persistent threat that's trying to, you know... Attack another country for 17 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, dude, like. This is a wild damn guess. She can't even connect to it. That's just even better. Yep, we're pinging it.
It's only going up to 2009 for some reason. Oh, fucking shit, dude. You ain't gonna find shit. This is not gonna find anything at all. This thing ain't gonna find shit. This is fucking dumb. I'll just look the damn password up because this is this is fucking dumb. I've done a lot of dumb shit in my life, but my god, this is dumb. This is fucking stupid, like right here. Box makers, how can we waste the most time in the world? Let's pretend. Let's just not have a password. Okay. Sounds good. Let's make it the second to last one on Rocky.txt. Okay. Sounds good. This is fucking dumb. Alright. What is this fucking box even called? Dictionary? It's a cool story, bro. Dictionary. Hello, everybody, and welcome Hello. back to another video. Oh, thank God. And enter no password. We see that we get a list of. Yeah, but with Crack Mac Exec, though, it's going to take a fucking year. Like, we're going to be here for a fucking year doing that. Like, we really are. We are going to be here forever. Wait, not. Like, this is not. An advanced Thank persistent you. threat. Do a pseudo. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a fucking. With the credentials of the. This is sync. There's the right damn one. Rainbow table. Anything. We're gonna be here with, crack map exact. We're gonna be here forever, doing this. And it gets to the point where it's like, yo, like I ain't gonna do that. Like I'm, I'm not. It's not how I'm gonna live my life is watching a fucking table doing that. Oh wait, you know what they have? I forgot. They have a walkthrough. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Jesus Christ, not again. In this video again. we'll be looking at a medium active directory box called Dictionary from CyberSec Labs. So let's jump straight into the video. So first of all, we do what we always do, we run an NMAP scan. And in this case, there's nothing really to note here. This, these ports are very normal for any active directory domain and there's nothing much to look at. We see we have a domain, dictionary.csl. Password brain. Okay months, I have the years, and then we say, okay, write them all into, like, append them together. So hey, we did that. I mean, not quite like that, but we did that. All the usernames, take in all the passwords, and try them all out, uh, and, and see if we get a hit. So we run crack, crack map exec winrm with our user's file, or password file, on dictionary.csl, and then the IP, and then we see it starts running through all the passwords. Hey, thanks for the so file, b nugs and look at, eventually, look at his... however, we get this hit for backup-isabel with the password October 
2019. Okay. Back up, Isabella. Got a hit with October of 2019. Thank the fucking Lord. Evil. <laughs> like, that is not. That teaches you a total of nothing. <laughs> that teaches you to be loud as all hell and lock out someone's account. That's what that teaches you, like, right there. Hey, thanks for the foul, Andestrom. That's what that literally does. You want to lock out someone's account? Do that. There. Jesus. What the hell is her name? Backup Isabella, and it's October 2019. Here, we'll make it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll crack it. They do. Okay, my question is now. Backup Isabel, right? Is October 2019. How the fuck is her account June 2013 then? If her backup is October 2019. Um, they're two different tests. They're two totally different tests. How does that make any sense? Her backup should be like 2012. Not fucking in the future. Is it like that? Or is it with an exclamation point? Like that doesn't make any damn sense. Like, was she with fucking Marty and Doc at a goddamn DeLorean? Like what happened there? CD and a desktop. I need to know, what was Isabelle's backup account doing in 2019? When was this box made? Okay, 11th of June 2020. I'm going to say, if this box was made in the past, I'm going to fucking... We we're just going to finish this. We're like, nope, we're done with this guy. You know what? We might actually be done with them. We might actually just be done with them like right now. One second. Or is it? Oh, I gotta get my share up and running, don't I? Yeah, 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 I didn't have my share up and running, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what are you trying here? What you, what's wrong? Can't do it. That one, like right there. Okay. Got a backup account. Yep. Yep. Made the password 10 years in the future. That's what we did, boss. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Okay, nothing crazy going on there. Nothing crazy going on here. Um, okay. Let's throw power up at it, I guess. Let's throw power up at it. Use basic parsing 10 10 0 16 slash power up dot ps1. See if we can hit with AMSI or anything like that. Nope. Invoke all checks.
That was dumb. All right, let's go ahead and throw um, win peas at it. Okay, W get, use basic parsing. Oh, I forgot to do an out file. Whoops. Nineteen, her backup account. <laughs> okay, glad we looked that up. We would have been here for days. That would have been the longest box, not the insane ones. Now, not the ten out of tens. Now, we have to brute force a day. Okay. Can you imagine that in real life? <laughs> How quickly you'd be caught? <laughs> How quickly that account would be locked out? Uh, I'm not seeing anything in there. Kind of done with this guy. Let's go ahead and... Um, could you just imagine that? Like, it would take you like, that would be, you literally have about five minutes and they'd be like, okay, you're out of here. Like nobody would notice that. Yeah, I mean, there's craziness with privileged users, stuff like that, but it's like, you know how quick, like, that was just farting off every possible date, you know, every single one failing, like a hundred something times, like, they, how, that account would be locked out. <laughs> that would be noticed so quickly. Like, huh. We keep unlocking this account, it keeps locking back out again. I feel like something's happening. Or something? Why don't we get a call back? Okay. So you didn't pick up wind peas, but you picked up that? Alright. Huh. Back bringing the password, yeah, that's what I would think when I was looking at a log. Eh, he's probably just probably just messed it up a couple times, guys. He's good, don't worry about it. Okay, um, I want to see if there's a difference between this wind piece and the regular wind piece because my.
Let me know how you spell it. I don't know how to spell it. Those are facts. I'm questioning it too. What? He's probably spaffing the password. He just types really fast. Should do a zero log on, huh? Gotta do this. Um, this guy is called Dictionary. And the DCIP is 172.31.3.4, I think, right? Yep, .3.4. computer name Same stuff that we got before. There's nothing in there, okay. Um let's see here. Jesus. idea this is uh I have no freaking clue Here's a backup. App data. Seer. Um, I think it's usually in roaming. Right, the girl you want to find all your crap at. Bullshit. 
files. Is it one of those two? Is that the bullshit ass stuff that you want to grab? What's this one called again? Dictionary? Key four dot DB. Let's go. Now we want one default release. You think about the other one. I haven't been gone for too long, Frank. I just realized that since the backup, I looked at app data and it had Mozilla in there. So I think it's going to be something to do with Firefox. Because it had Mozilla inside of it, so. I think I had the damn listener running. <laughs> I was kind of supposed to have that running, wasn't I? Wait, how do I do the zero logon again? That's pretty nightmare. Zero logon. We did all that. Boom, boom. Yep, secrets dump. Now we can just do that. Secrets dump dot pi. I'm gonna try it this way also with the Mozilla stuff, but we should be able to get in the way that we're getting in, like right now. Um, and then we should be able to at there, no pass. In case you guys are wondering, that was zero log on. That's what we just did. In case you guys are wondering what the hell just happened, like right there, that was the zero log on attack that came out. That uh, John Hammond helped build the um, Python file for. That's what happens when you try to brute force something for hours. That's when you, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit now. Hey, thanks for the file, free think. I was free thinking like right there. <laughs> Sorry. The next one's called brute, so we might be doing the same exact thing because I'm not going to sit here and brute force on you for hours. All right, um... But we just grab these two things. Let's exit out here. Let's see what those two guys are all about. And this one is called Dictionary. And I have to remember now how to do the... Um, what is it? I think we need more. I think we also need the cookies. Is that correct? I don't think we need the cookies. I think that's all we need like right there. And then we just throw those two files at the uh, Firefox decrypt, right? And we tell it where to decrypt it at.
It's in here somewhere. There it is. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, Manhattan. All right. We got that. All right. Now it's spam. <laughs> um, from there, we should just have to decrypt. If I do this wrong, then it goes on to, then it grabs my stuff. So give me a second. Because I've done that before. I've done this wrong. It's grabbed my stuff. Give me one second. I'm still here. Just give me a second. Definitely just decrypted my own stuff again. Yep. Definitely just decrypted my own stuff. Whoopsie daisy. Um, <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the foul. Uh, R's on three. Give me one second. I have to remember how to do it without decrypting my stuff. Okay. I think I got it. All right. I can't scroll up over here. <laughs> it's not the first time I've done this and totally messed it up. So, we need logins, dot JSON, and signons, dot SQLite, sign on, signons, yeah. What could go wrong? Oh, and then also, not only that, but you know, every single test I've ever taken, stuff like that, they're all on there. So, every single password I ever used for like a test that I've tried to do something with, they've all dropped. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me close you guys out again, like, real quick. Just to make sure. All right, we're good. All right, so I had to grab that logos.json file also. And I also grabbed the key for DB file. And I also grabbed the, um, the, um, as soon as I see it, cert 9 DB. Um, I went there because it's a backup account. So I went to app data. I usually don't see Mozilla in there. Um, usually whenever you see Firefox on like the desktop or something like that, it's always good to try to find the credentials and they're going to be in app data roaming. You just keep going through and then you finally get into Firefox. You're going to see these long, weird names like we just saw like right there. And now we have these ones like right here, right? So I don't think that any of those usernames are on the actual box itself though, wherever we got in. But we're going to try to throw these passwords into something. So let's go ahead and do a nano... Pass.txt, not that. And we'll go ahead and throw these guys into there. Let's go through these usernames in there too, because these are really weird usernames also. All right, let me go ahead and do a crack map exec, I guess. Um, I guess we're going against her now with pass.txt. That'll be like the next person. Or maybe administrator. Oh yeah, the very first time I did it, it dropped everything. It dropped all my stuff. It was pretty funny. I laughed. When you guys were all blacked out, it dropped it. 
Like, you guys would have... You guys would have had test answers. Just whoop, there you go. Alright, administrator can get in like that. So then we would evil win our M as administrator and do like that. So, if you didn't do a... What I did up there with the zero logon, then that would be the other way to be able to do it. Cool. No, Pauly, please, 1337. <laughs> Crushed it. All right. Exit out of there. Exit out of here. Exit. Exit. Exit out of here. CD bat back, make directory brute. That one should be called brute, the one that we just did. All right, let's um go on to the last one here. So we've been going for, it's 9 a.m., it's 12.20 now. So we have been going for, what is that, 15 hours? All right, 9 a.m. to 2400. That'll be 15, yeah. And this is the last box, it's brute, supposedly it's an easy box. It won't show it on there because we get kicked out however long. So we only got two hours on there, but 